Education Roots and Shoots program, we introduce the children to the biodiversity in Indonesia's ecosystems. By helping the children better understand the animals and plants in their community, we continue the lesson from last week around how they can help protect their ailing environment. We decided to start class by getting them up and moving with an activity where we had the students pretend to be trees and my fellow teacher and I dictated the weather conditions. The bulk of this lesson was about why it matters that Indonesia's rainforests are deteriorating. We explored this through discussing the importance of balance in an ecosystem. We showed them how fragile rainforest really is and the state of their own rainforests. We also sparked a healthy discussion with questions like, how does it make you feel to hear about this? And what kinds of things are humans doing in Indonesia that are harming the environment in animal homes? For the next activity, we wanted the students to begin to physically notice their surroundings and be able to identify different plants and animals themselves. While we were outside, we asked questions like, what do you see? Things you already know about? New things? How do you treat these things that make up your environment? Are you respectful? And ultimately, we close by asking, how will you act or treat your environment differently now that you have a new respect for your environment? We ended the day with a story written by the late Nobel laureate, Wangari Mathai, in which a hummingbird sees a fire burning in the forest. And while all the other animals sit around and feel helpless to fight the massive blaze, the hummingbird does its part. When the animals proclaimed that the hummingbird was too small to fight such a big fire, the hummingbird confidently recoiled, I will do the best I can. To personalize the commitment of doing the best that you can and never feeling like a problem in your community is so big that you're just better off ignoring it, we had the kids draw themselves as hummingbirds and share with the class one example of how they'll strive to be more like the hummingbird. For more information about this amazing cause, and to donate to The World is Just a Book Away, check out wejabarootsandshoots.cosvox.com. I'll see you next week with more from Indonesia and week three of Roots and Shoots. Thanks.